So here is our reflow. Kind of temperatures and times written down. iPod's going to be the timer. So start. Go and slide the board all the way in. We set our temperature for 300 degrees and start. So we're going to be running this for a minute and a half at 300 degrees Fahrenheit is our uh, preheat temperature. I find it convenient to have a flashlight so I can see into the dark toaster. Here. And we'll just wait till this is a minute 30. So I'll pause the camera till then. Or maybe you want to watch the toaster. So we're at a minute, eight. Next we'll be going up to 350 degrees for, um, for another minute and a half, uh, which is called the ramp up stage, but I actually get reflowing there, okay. We're actually, minute, 30. Stop, stop this. Go up to 350, we hit start, reset, start. Now resetting, we're at 350 degrees. And I think in about a minute, we'll see it to reflow. Well, you won't see it, but I will. And uh, this isn't actually the reflow stage, so it's... The starter's melting, I guess. I don't know, but online it says to go up to 425, and I actually only go up to 350, and that's fine. So, we're at 31 seconds. And I'm just going to be watching this. It's pretty easy to see when it reflows. The pace turns from looking like sand to actually looking like solder, I suppose. We're at, we're approaching one minute. And dude, you're not gonna be able to see this. If you could. Cool. And the solder is reflowing. It's melting. Okay. I'm gonna go, okay, we're gonna stop that, reset, go up to 425. Hit start, reset, 30 seconds. No, did that, you can't see it. 30 seconds, we'll be going up to 425. Yeah. Unplug, I'm gonna zoom out, oh, I'm gonna zoom out for you. And we're gonna stop this, and we're gonna slowly open this. I'm gonna go and get my pliers. And I'm going to go ahead and 
take this to the cooling rack. Okay, what are we looking at? There it is. Capacitor, resistors, capacitors, resonator, all on the board. It's cooling down, and it'll be safe to touch in a, in a little bit. Yeah, it's still kind of hot. Okay, so next we're going to be, um, well this is the reflow board, it's all done. Next we're going to be putting the at mega on there. We're going to be hand soldering this. You don't really have to be that um, accurate in hand soldering it. Just uh, pins will bridge and you can just fix those with a uh, solder wick. And uh... As my temperature climbs on my solder iron, I like to um, just when I attach the first pins of the chip, I like to use some tape to keep the chip from moving on the board. So I'm just going to. Okay. I'm just going to be taping this down so the chip doesn't move so I can solder at least a pin or two down in place so next well, yeah, that's like perfectly aligned. Mm. Okay. Okay, so now that the pins uh, it's on there well. Let's see if I can show you. Line it up, as you can see, tape it down. Now we're going to be soldering this. Once I jostle the camera around a bit. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Uh, what are we looking at? There, there we are. Okay. We're going to be hand soldering this. Just a few pins at first will do. Corner pins. Don't really worry about any bridges. And that will be enough. Now we can take the tape off and get to soldering and I don't need to show oh, I don't need to show you all of that so I'm going to do that and we'll be back